It sounds like the scene from a horror movie, actually. A box. Hi, it's so good to see you. Thanks for coming back. So today, we're gonna be opening up The Box by Fashion Stuff. I know. I'm like, what? What is that? So for those of you not familiar with The Box, this runs $19.99. Uh, it is a monthly subscription and usually includes five full-size beauty products. And you're supposed to get a total retail value of anywhere between $80 and $150. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is Kemi. Welcome to my channel. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more of me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So let's go back in time and see what I had included in the box. For November 2019. This is what the box looks like. Box with a purpose. At the back of the card it says with every box purchase you're helping 1736 Family, Family Crisis Center with the intention to enhance self-confidence and self-image. I wonder how much they donate to um, the crisis center. Well they're in partnership. Doesn't say exactly how much they donate, but that's cool that they're in partnership with that. And there is a little message right inside the box. There's also another card included. And it's basically just a coupon about Black Friday, but I got this like late. They sent out a little message on Instagram basically saying they were, they were missing one of the products. So all the boxes would be showing up late this month. So that coupon ain't doing nothing for me. And at the back, it basically gives you a full list of everything that comes included, the box this month, a brief description about it, and the cost of it. And I'll throw that up throughout the video, and I'll leave links down below in case anyone's interested in actually purchasing. The box itself looks like very nice wrapping paper in theme, very well packaged, Sutra Beauty, and it's a rejuvenating hair serum. And it's the perfect partner for blow dryers, curling irons, and hair straighteners. Everyone knows, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I actually don't usually mess around with hair products. That's what it's looking like. So it's a very nice bottle, nice packaging, and has directions right on the back in case anyone's curious, if you can even see it. And this runs $45, so that's actually pretty decent size, 60 milliliters. Obviously the cost of the box right there, so that's very well done. But next thing we have is from Fig and Yarrow Apothecary, and it's an orange blossom lavender complexion water. And it's a hydrating skin toner with a blend of pure essential oils and herbal extracts for superlative skin nourishment. That looks really freaking good. I'm like, for $20? This box is like blowing me away here. Well, my face is freshly washed and it says you can do it at any time. So let's see. Hopefully it doesn't like spritz me like crazy. Ooh, it's a really light scent. Uh, like it said, it's a blend of essential oils. I'm not mad at it, honestly. It is winter time, so you definitely need a little extra. Doesn't taste that good. Doesn't taste good at all. So don't get it in your mouth. And this runs $34. It adds an extra dose of beneficial nutrients while hydrating, soothing, and toning skin. Yeah, I definitely love how that felt. Like my skin feels lightly moisturized. Like it's not like overly so, but it feels so smooth right now. Midnight Garden, and this is an eyeshadow palette. And this runs $18, and it's by Cara Beauty. It's super sealed, so I'm just gonna use tweezers to like puncture the plastic around it. Back. Gives you all the names of the shades, but it doesn't actually give you the colors. So you actually have to buy it, open it to use the colors. But I gotta tell you, this is a beautiful palette. Wow, this is gorgeous. So that is the palette. Those are the colors you're working with. An 18 pan for $18. This is Little Nest. Uh, not looking good. Fairy. Okay, Fairy showed up. Twinkling. Hopping Frogs. Moon. Ooh, I like Moon. True Light. Shooting Star. Magic. Orchid, Shadow, Pond, Windy. 
Yeah, definitely very purple. If you hear that noise, it's my heater kicking on. It is cold in New York and that's, that's what it does. Silent Night, Night Owl. Ooh, I like Night Owl, that's a beautiful purple. Flowers, Deepness. Whoa, Deepness just showed up. Palm trees, Chili. Chili is, doesn't look that chilly. Yeah, a lot of purples in this palette. So I use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I find that once I put it on and I set it, I end up creasing less. My eyelids are super oily, so this is what I've been doing so far. I'm gonna start off with Silent Night. Ooh, it is not that deep. Wow, I thought it would be a lot deeper. All right, well that's Silent Night. Clearly I don't know what I'm doing. I can't say I'm in love with this palette. It's just not blending as well as I would like. Like there is a line right there and it's like, what? how did that line get there? I mean, I know how the line got there, but I'm gonna go in with Fairy. All right, well, Fairy is looking good. That's nice. I really don't like this blend at all. This is not my favorite palette. Just the blend is, this line up here, I don't know where that came from. Excuse me, hello. Orchid on the inner corner. So this is what my eye looks like. Um, like I said before, I'm not a fan of this palette. It's just really hard to blend the colors together. I ended up getting like one big old swipe of purple, which is not where I was going with this. Um, this is more along the lines of where I was attempting to go, but it's really hard to blend with these colors. Um, so this palette, meh. It's $18, so it gets you the color you're looking for. Gives you the pigment on some colors, not all. And then blending, it's a big fat F for me. Oh, it looks like a lot of makeup on my face. Like I said, I've been trying to blend it together and it just, it took a really long time. Yeah, and I just keep packing on, obviously, because I want it to blend. I'll finish this and I'll be right back. I have my eye makeup all done. I'm gonna throw on some lashes a little later on. Next we have a product from Lorella and this is a liquid matte lipstick and this runs $10. Pull out my tweezer again because it is sealed. I've never tried a product from Lorella so I'm really curious. And it says when you're searching for the perfect lipstick, look no further than liquid lipsticks. They brush on as smoothly as a gloss, but with the pigment levels of a luxury lipstick. And it's gonna be in the color Ari. I don't think I'm gonna be a fan of this. If that's what the color is, it's, it's not gonna be good. I can tell you that. I hope that's not the color, I really hope not. I'm looking for something red, a deep purple, not that. Okay, that's where I'm going. So that is the color, that's the shade Ari from Lorella. Doesn't smell bad. It's just a liquid lipstick. Let's see. Oh, that is so light. Reminds me of like a chiffon color. Looks cool. But I am definitely going to need a lip liner for this. So I shall be right back. So I have my lips lined. So let's see how it's going to look. I'm like terrified. Watch this just look like absolute trash. Oh, uh, not bad with the lip liner. Yeah, not bad. Not great, but not bad. It's actually not as bright as I thought it would be, which is good. It's more like a, a nudie, nudier color. That's what it looks like dried down on my skin. Yeah, it's almost uh, a good match. So that's what it's looking like. I can't say it matches the eyeshadow because I kind of went overboard trying to blend it so hard, but so far it's okay. It just seems so much up here and so little down here. It seems very heavy. And last but not least in the box, I have a CBD sugar scrub, Bud Naked. And this runs $29. That looks so cool. And it's for the most natural exfoliation and skin tightening. Smooth and refine your skin with the first ever CBD infused body scrub. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It's like a nice little pink color. The scent, 
I'm not a fan of the smell. I don't really know what this smells like. I'm not a fan of the smell. It's not bad, but I'm just, it's not for me. And it's made to help reduce stretch marks and aid in cellular production as well as helps combat breakouts. So that's interesting. That's definitely an interesting product. I'll have to try it, see how it works. Really not a fan of the smell though. It was a total retail value of $136. So that's pretty good in my opinion anyway. All right, that's it. Bye. I don't know why they didn't just do Fashionista. Maybe the name was already taken. So Fashionista it is. Or maybe it was a misprint. That would be hilarious if they came up with the name because of the misprint.